This ear looks very similar to what would be that you might see in a drought year, though. It's not a good year to be a North Texas corn farmer. Butch Acock knows this firsthand. While some Texans may have forgotten about the record-breaking spring rains, not Butch. One look at his cornfields is all it takes. This has been the most difficult since I've been in business. Uh, even some of the drought years, this one became more difficult. You would think rain would be good for farmers, and it is. But too much all at once can be almost as bad as not enough. Butch farms in Collin County, just outside McKinney. This area was one of the wettest this spring, getting about 20 inches of rain in May alone. And much of his corn tells the tale, short stalks and small ears. The rain actually took a toll on the whole plant, but obviously you can see how tall this is. The ear would be placed here about where the top of the stalk is. During the early stages of growth, the corn sat in water, and that's detrimental to the plant, giving it what Butch calls wet feet. Wet feet would be when the, when the black soil, black clay soil is never what we call crust, where you could actually walk out in it when, without picking up on your boot. And it went on for uh, certainly past weeks into months like that. Some of his fields were so wet he couldn't apply all his fertilizer. That made things worse. The fields he did fertilize looked better, but not great. As his combines cut through his crop, it's painfully obvious his yields will be down, maybe some of his lowest. His fields in a good year can produce up to 145 bushels per acre. This year, it'll be closer to five. The rainfall did save the lake, save the reservoirs, give us a peace of mind to live here and have plenty of water, and that, that, that part of it's good. The crops here, as we see them today, though, yeah, they had to pay the price. Butch hasn't seen a year like this in three decades. He already lost half his wheat crop to the rain. He's hoping the rest of the year will be better. After the worst drought in Texas history and the wettest spring on record, he hopes things can get back to normal, whatever normal is. For TFB News, Ed Wolf, McKinney.